It's the moment their families have been waiting for. Hamas's release of two elderly women held captive for more than two weeks. Their husbands, though, remain behind in Gaza, where Israeli airstrikes is killing dozens of people every day. We're very emotional and happy that my grandmother Yochabed Livshitz and Nurit Cooper, both from the kibbutz near Oz, is coming back to us in a real humanitarian move. We're expecting the rest to be released, all hostages from the kibbutz, all hostages in general. Hamas maintains it's treating its civilian captives like guests and is willing to release them without conditions, but says Israel hasn't accepted. We have uh, declared uh, on Friday that we were ready to release four to uh, and another two Israelis uh, women. At that time, the Americans uh, accepted uh, to have the, two, uh, those two women back, but the Israelis rejected that. Prime Minister Netanyahu rejected that. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, though, rejected this claim by saying the army and security forces have been active for days in getting the captives released. Earlier this week, he'd said there would be no negotiations with Hamas. Qatar, Egypt and the US have been working together as mediators behind the scenes. And then shortly after the grandmothers entered Egypt through the Rafah crossing from Gaza, intense Israeli airstrikes resumed. The heavy bombing of Gaza from the air hasn't stopped since October 7, and promises of a ground invasion that hasn't materialized yet has left many Israelis searching for answers from their government and questioning whether the 210 captives will ever make it out of Gaza alive. The arrival of the grandmothers in Israel is likely to give desperate families hope to be reunited again with their loved ones. And in Gaza, People hope for a respite from what is the worst bombing they have ever seen. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera, Occupied East Jerusalem.